Bonjour. Bonsoir. <laughs> um, it's our last day in Haiti. Um, had an amazing time. Wish we could stay longer. I'm really feeling that. Um, today, we are going to teach you two Creole words. And it's actually a cultural tradition here. The first word is one. And the response is respe. So when someone comes to um, a house in Haiti, the person outside calls one. And respe. The, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and the person inside says respe. <laughs> um, so I, as much as I understand, the idea is that um, you're calling out the intention to enter the house with honor and the person calls back respect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's just a, I think it's an example of what we try to do here is um, as kind of the international outsider coming into someone else's community, we try to learn uh, traditions so that we can have mutual respect for one another and um, more of an understanding. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yesterday was quite a full day. Um, in the morning we went and followed one of the Brie team members, a female journalist, um, to her university where she took an exam and got some nice shots of the university. After that we zipped over to where the Brie newspaper is printed and it was this old, old printing press. So cool. It was unreal. Yeah, it was just this um, fairly large machine um, and um, all the parts were exposed. You could see all the springs working. Um, it was just... Some gears. And yeah, it was just unreal um, and the man working, it was just, um, just such a cool skill to have um, here and um, it was really, really cool to see. And we were lucky in that we got plenty of time there. We had to wait for the electricity to come on for the machine to actually work. So, yeah. got some good stuff. So, after the printing press, um, we waited for Edno, our driver, to arrive. And it was taking a long time. Couldn't figure out why. The car broke down again. So, when he arrived, it broke down for a second time. And we had uh, to get to Camp Canaan. And mm -hmm. the idea was for Ashley to jump on a motorbike, do some filming on the way there. And so I ended up staying with Edna, with the car, and Ashley jumped on a motorcycle, sandwiched mm -hmm. between Ebru, who's one of the Brie Cree team members, and Jeremy. And another Brie Cree team member jumped on a bike, and off they went. Off we went. Um, it was a really cool experience to be outside of the car and, and zipping through all the cars and the traffic and the people on the street, and it was really, it was really cool. Um, and... I was told in the beginning um, to watch out for, for police, for cops, um, so when I would see them I would just kind of hide the camera and kind of look away um, from wherever they were. And then when we got out of kind of the more congested area and um, we were kind of on the outs of City Soleil, um, which is kind of the known as one of the, of the most slum area. Mm -hmm. Um, of Haiti. Um, uh, we were no longer worried about police, but we were worried about the gang members that controlled those areas. So there was one really long stretch where we kind of slowed down. We talked to the other motorcycle, and um, I was told to put my camera away, and we just floored it through. All I saw were barriers of some sort uh, at the distance, and I just kind of crouched down and um, hope for the best and we made it through it was great and um, got some really cool shots and now you know the story behind the motorcycle scenes in our in our movie <laughs> the, meanwhile I was with the car um, long story short I'll try uh, it broke down quite a few more times at one point we were in a neighborhood where I was also told to stay in the car um, it was a narrow street and so with our car broken down there was only a way for one car at a time to get through and so we created a traffic jam and so we're there waiting the hood of the car is up and I did eventually get out of the car um, but it was amazing I wish we had the camera there with us because so many people from the neighborhood came out to help um, they helped Edna fix the car they brought water they directed traffic so that the uh, the traffic jam would stop. They brought rubble out to put 
in the front of the tires of a guy who was having trouble backing up because he had a stick. Um, it was just an amazing example of one of the things I love about being in Haiti, which is that solidarity and community. Yeah. So thanks so much for following us in Haiti. Um, I'm looking forward to coming back and sharing more stuff with you guys, uh, footage. And, um, yeah, yeah, looking forward to the, to the post part of it and making a really kick-ass trailer for everyone. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. We'll see you soon. Bye.